In his incredible 25 years as a professional boxer, Manny Pacquiao has developed one of the greatest fight IQs in combat sports, combining creative, complex techniques with unrelenting aggression. Put simply, each and every one of Pacquiao's punches is designed to set up the next, which sets up the next, which sets up the next, until death by a thousand cuts. This unique blend of pressure and planning has earned Pacquiao a championship belt in eight different weight classes. He's to this day the only boxer ever to do so. Pacquiao has been assisted greatly in his endeavors by one of the most talented coaches to ever teach the sweet science, Freddie Roach. Roach's more realistic approach to mitt work is intended to simulate a real bout, and is hand tailored to each of his boxers' personal styles and inclinations. Rather than try to stifle his instincts, Roach helped to foster and supplement Pacquiao's natural inclinations, and the result is a style based around constant pressure built equally off of intelligence and aggression. You guys seem to like learning how Tyson and Canelo use their own unique drills to send opponents crashing to the canvas. So in this video, let's look at some of the drills that help Manny Pacquiao become the absolute monster he is today. The first drill is a great example of how Pacquiao's entire style can be boiled down into creating one threat to set up another. One of the simpler ways he does this is by using head movement. But not in the way you might think. Pacquiao doesn't only use his own head movement to set up punches. He uses his opponents. In this drill, Pacquiao practices throwing a hook or jab into an uppercut, a seemingly straightforward drill that nonetheless has led to several knockouts. While the drill itself is standard, the concept behind it and the way that Pacquiao uses it is powerful. The idea is that Pacquiao's first punch elicits a defensive reaction from his opponent, enticing them to move themselves into a second punch. In essence, Pacquiao is using his opponent's defense against them, throwing his hook or jab to goad them into ducking into his uppercut. While opponents with stellar head movement have been frustrating aggressive fighters throughout history, tacticians like Pacquiao know that every style has a weakness, and that a fighter's strength can easily become a liability. A secondary benefit to this combo is that some competitors cover block Pacquiao's hook. This widens their guard and creates a clear path down the middle. Yet one more great thing about this drill is that it can be used in an open stance where each fighter has opposite feet forward, or a closed stance where each fighter has the same foot forward. Speaking of, let's next look at how Pacquiao uses his unique southpaw footwork to trick opponents into moving directly into his punches. Here, Pacquiao practices stepping deep inside to create a new offensive angle. Some more informed viewers may be surprised by this, as much has been made about southpaw fighters needing to fight for the outside foot position at all costs. But that is missing half the picture and eliminating half of the possibilities. Pacquiao is an expert at dominating exchanges in both foot positions, and a big reason he can do this is that he drills them both equally. By stepping inside, Pacquiao can beat an opponent's jab with his own, but perhaps more importantly, he creates a new, unexpected angle for his left hand that circumvents his opponent's guard. In line with Pacquiao's principle of constant, uninterrupted attacks, he can use this footwork tactic offensively or defensively to attack off a jab or to counter off of head movement. But perhaps the most impressive way that Pacquiao uses his inside sidestep is to finish opponents on the ropes. While most pressure fighters try to widen their stance to trap opponents, Pacquiao prefers constant mobility. Rather than trap competitors by cutting them off, he instead flanks them by quickly stepping inside. At best, this catches them off guard and leads to a knockout. At worst, it dislodges them from the ropes, where Pacquiao can continue his forward moving pressure. That being said, a surprising number of Pacquiao's KOs happen when he's backing up. But this does make a kind of sense. The competition at Pacquiao's level didn't get there by being timid, so they often look to counter Pacquiao's aggression by fighting fire with fire. Which is why Pacquiao also practices angling back as he steps out, 
slipping, and then planting to throw shots with just as much knockout power. But while this is an important addition, Pacquiao is known for his forward moving pressure style for a reason. Because Pacquiao prefers to pressure, the main threat to his success is the jab. But here too, Pacquiao has a way to use an opponent's defense against them. In this drill, Roach simulates throwing a jab, and Pacquiao slips and steps outside into the more traditional southpaw foot position. At the same time, he intercepts with his left. This is essentially the same technique that Joe Lewis used to cross over his legendary right past his opponent's jab, only modified for an open stance where each fighter has their opposite foot forward. This tactic could very easily end in disaster, as there is a risk of Pacquiao moving into an opponent's lead hook. However, he remains safe by ducking forward and stepping in deep, smothering his opponent's punch. This isn't actually unique to this drill. Pacquiao regularly centers his balance so far past his base when attacking that at times he will shuffle or even skip off of his lead foot. Eventually, most of Pacquiao's opponents get the idea that it would be better to retreat. Often the shorter fighter, Pacquiao should be at a major disadvantage if his opponents choose to circle and keep the distance. However, it's in these scenarios that Pacquiao dials up his aggression to 11. Something that Pacquiao consistently practices in sparring is to literally run at his opponents, just as Marvelous Marvin Hagler did in his iconic fight against Thomas Hearns. However, this footwork is far more refined than it may appear at first glance. Pacquiao will start off with a standard punch or combination, usually a 1-2, but then by shifting forward as he throws his lead straight, Pacquiao essentially turns what would be a jab into a cross. This allows him to follow up with the natural rhythm of throwing a jab after a cross. Only now, that jab hits just as hard as a cross. This same technique was a signature move for Jack Dempsey. But all of these drills would be meaningless if they didn't work into Pacquiao's style as a whole. Before, I had mentioned how Roach's more realistic approach to mitt work let Pacquiao flow from drill to drill to better simulate a real match. So to showcase this and finish off this video right, let's look at one instance where multiple drilled techniques that you've just seen covered in this video all blended together to lead to a terrific knockdown. In this clip, the great Eric Morales charges at Pacquiao. Pacquiao moves back and throws a jab into his uppercut which you may remember from the first drill. Morales grinds to a halt, and Pacquiao builds on his momentum by shifting forward to turn his jab into a cross, as seen in the fourth drill. He next steps inside to dislodge Morales from the ropes, shown in drill two, and then splits his jab to land a hook, as in drill three. Morales retreats to the ropes, and Pacquiao splits his jab again, then exits outside. But Morales shows his own skill, smoothly pivoting to pursue, Pacquiao steps back, then, using the drill 2 variation, pull slips, and then nails Morales with an earth-shaking left hook. With Roach's innovative at the time approach to mitt work, Pacquiao was able to call upon the instincts he had cultivated over years of hard work with no hesitation. This is the true power of combining commitment, practice, and good planning. If you'd like to up your own game, you can check out my technique books on power, footwork, and aggressive defense, linked in the description. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.